Hello viewers! Is your car running rough or it keeps cutting out when coming to a stop? Well, one of the things that may cause such annoying behavior is a malfunctioning or clogged throttle body. Should be told, these engine components are quite reliable and don't fail that often. But when they do, your engine probably won't be running at its best. So in this video, we'll learn how to tell if the throttle body in your car is not working correctly and more importantly, what to do if that's the case. To fully understand the symptoms of a faulty throttle body, we should first explain how this part works and what it does. When the engine is running, its pistons draw the air into the cylinders while going up and down, and because the amount of incoming air and matching fuel determines the engine's speed and power output, this flow must be regulated. This is done with a throttle body, which sits at the beginning of the intake manifold. From a construction point of view, the throttle body is a short metal pipe with a plate inside. When you press the throttle pedal, this plate opens up, allowing more air to pass through and into the intake. With more air, the engine will work faster and its revs will increase. And when you back off the throttle, it closes, which reduces the airflow and engine speed. In older cars, the throttle body is mechanically operated with a cable connected directly to the throttle pedal inside the cabin. Most modern engines, though, have a so-called fly-by-wire throttle body. Here, the mechanical work is done by an electric stepper motor, whose operation is controlled by the ECM. In addition, a throttle body has a position sensor, which tells the ECM how much the plate is opened. Having learned how the throttle body works, it's now time to see what will happen when it doesn't. Because the throttle body controls how much air is going into the engine, any problems with its operation may cause all sorts of running issues. As previously explained, most throttle bodies have an angle sensor on their side, which tells the ECM at which position the throttle plate is. And if the ECM detects the throttle body is not opening or closing as it should, it will trigger a check engine light. This also means a corresponding code, or more of them, will be stored in the vehicle's diagnostic memory, which can be accessed with an OBD2 scan tool. Some of the codes you're likely to see are the following, but are not limited to them. Be aware that air-fuel mixture codes may also be triggered by a malfunctioning throttle body if it offsets its balance. One of the things usually most affected by throttle body issues is idle, which may become rough. This is because the throttle plate is almost completely shut when idling, allowing only a minimum amount of air past it. So even the slightest deviation here will noticeably impact the air-fuel mixture and how the engine is running. This usually happens when carbon buildups are clogging the throttle body. Like with rough idle, a faulty or clogged throttle body could cause your car to stall. As you're probably guessing, the reason for this are much the same as with the rough idle – gunk and carbon buildups inside the throttle body. Next, throttle body issues may cause hesitation, sluggish acceleration and performance issues. In most cases, this will happen if something prevents the throttle from opening and closing as it should. As with rough idle and stalling, buildups and other obstructions may prevent the throttle body's plate from closing correctly, as if you haven't fully released the throttle. This consequently allows more air than needed into the engine, which then increases its idle speed. For the combustion to happen, the air-fuel mixture must be just perfect. And as you may imagine, with the throttle body not functioning as it should, it'll be anything but that. In many cases, this will cause misfire, which will be most noticeable when you press or release the throttle. And lastly, with all this affecting the engine's performance, you're likely to see changes in fuel consumption, which might go up. If suspecting the throttle body in your car is not working correctly, you should inspect it, which means finding it first. Due to the nature of its job, this engine component will always be somewhere on its intake. So with that in mind, pop up the hood and look for the intake manifold and air filter box and somewhere between them you'll spot a throttle body as you can see here. In most cases, a throttle body will have a wiring connector and be held in place with several bolts, and you'll have to undo this to remove the throttle body from the engine bay. The air going into the engine should, in theory, be clean and filtrated. In real life, however, you'll always have dirt and soot from the turbocharger, EGR valve and crankcase ventilation. 
And with time, these particles and oily fumes can form buildups inside the throttle body. This, when it happens, obstructs its movement and prevents it from correctly controlling the airflow. Luckily, this can easily be solved by cleaning, which we'll cover a bit later. Next, you have the stepper motor on fly-by-wire throttle bodies, which, like any similar device, may fail for many reasons. And if this happens, there won't be anything to open and close the throttle plate. Another likely failure point is the position sensor, which may become defective and give false readings. With the ECM not knowing what's happening inside the throttle body, it won't be able to correctly adjust the air-fuel mixture. Lastly, we have the wiring, which may be broken or damaged. Additionally, a connector that plugs into the throttle body may be loose or corroded. In most cases, this is easy to check either visually or with a multimeter. As you may have concluded by now, many throttle body issues are caused by carbon buildups that can form inside it. And with that in mind, giving it a good cleaning can do wonders and restore its operation. Start by removing the throttle body from the engine, as this is the only proper way of doing this job. This involves removing the intake hose and undoing these several bolts. Next, with the throttle body on a workbench or table, push the plate inside it to a fully open position. You can do this either with a screwdriver or with your finger. This will give you access to fully clean all bits. Now, you'll need a can of throttle body cleaner or brake cleaner as it works equally well. Spray the throttle body and all its components from both sides and give them a thorough soaking while doing so. Moreover, leave the cleaner to dissolve the gunk for several minutes for the best possible results. So, with that done, take a rug or paper and clean off whatever gunk may have been left. Make sure to clean the throttle body and the plate inside it from both sides. The edges where the throttle plate sits on the housing are the most important place to clean. Finally, once all this is done, reinstall the throttle body and refit the intake hose you've removed at the start. And make sure everything is tight and in its place while doing so. If cleaning the throttle body hasn't made a difference, you might have to replace it. But before doing that, trying to recalibrate it might help. And to carry out this procedure, you'll need a dealer level diagnostic tool capable of performing such tasks. In the end, you might have to replace the throttle body. And having already tried to clean it, you know this is a simple job. But on the downside, throttle bodies are not cheap. Depending on the car, this part will set you back anywhere between $200 and $500. So there you have it viewers. I'm sure you now know how the throttle body works and how to spot a bad one. And more importantly, I hope this helped you solve your engine issues and that your car is now running fine. If so, give us a big thumbs up on this video and subscribe to our channel. But if not, something else might be causing the issue. To continue troubleshooting, check out other videos here or visit our site mechanicbase.com for more detailed automotive repair guides. Bye!